Hey, welcome back to the homestead. I'm Jacob from Sustainably Yours. I'm out at the garden once again for another Shed Wars weigh-in. Um, we're still mostly just picking squash so far, but man, we have plenty of it. I missed coming out yesterday, so we're probably going to have a few of these that are a little bit big. And something that I've kind of learned when it comes to squash, you want to pick them when they're still fairly small. I have a tendency on my squash and my okra, I look at them and I go, man, that could definitely get bigger. I wonder how big I can let that get without it getting too tough. Because it almost feels like a waste to me if I'm picking it when it's still just little bitty. I mean, I could let it grow and I'm going to get more out of it. But there's that balancing act, right? You got to get to it at the right time. And I'm not always the best at finding that balance. Here are a couple, oh man, I hate these things. These things grow everywhere in this pasture. And so they're still growing in the garden. And they'll get you pretty good too. The trick is to find a spot down here close to the bottom. And pull it from there. Ah, well, I didn't get the root, so that's going to be back. Darn it. Anyway, okay, here we go. I think this is about... Well, that might even be a little bit too big. I think this squash is at the point where the skin is still going to be tender enough, but the seeds inside may have developed a little bit more than I kind of like them to be. So this is pretty close. This is pretty close to where I like to pick them. This one is probably about right. This is where most people like to pick their squash. It's still pretty small. Skin is still very tender, and the seeds inside have not really developed very well so they're still going to be soft and tender here's another one i figure this one and it's a little bit darker yellow than I, I really like to see so i'm thinking this might be another one where the seeds inside are, are a little bit big but that's okay our favorite ways to use squash here on the homestead are fried man i love some fried squash and bake it into a casserole which i'm thinking we're gonna have we've got a bunch of squash in there so we're gonna have to get get it used i'm thinking we're gonna try to do a video of a good squash casserole recipe that we can toss in the freezer and save it for later so be keeping an eye out for that one but that recipe calls for a pretty good amount of squash so let's scan these things and see if we can't find a few more there's a pretty good one i'm noticing that a lot of these are are kind of plump that may be because here just a couple of days ago we got a nice little rain so these were beginning to develop then we got some rain and so I figure that's why these pulled in all of that extra water while the skin was still supple enough to expand because I know with tomatoes a lot of times that's what causes splitting when uh, the tomato has developed and the skin is no longer really pliable and supple and so when they absorb the water, the skin breaks. So I figure that's probably, I've never really seen a split squash, but I figure the reason these are so plump is because they were able to pull in all that water. Another reason why I'm trying to train myself to pick these squash when they're still small like this, like what you find at the grocery store, is because if you let squash develop to the point where the seeds fully mature, it sends a signal to the squash that it's done its job. It's produced the seeds necessary to bring forth the next generation, and so that squash plant will begin to wind down and die. And that's true in general for most of the things in your garden. If you keep everything picked and not let things go to seed, it will prolong your harvest. Looks like something's been taking a bite out of this one. I don't know what that would be. I'm guessing a rodent of some sort. Those are, it's a pretty small mouth. Oh well, we'll bust this thing open and toss it to the chickens. Get it! No? Come on, it's nom noms. Turn it over, there you go. Oh, now it's interesting. Oh well, they'll take care of it. Here's what we're going to be taking in today. Just some squash and zucchini. 
This is July the 5th. This video will probably actually go out on the 6th or 7th, something like that. Most of these, I think we got to them in time. Uh, this one right here, boy, I don't know about that one. I mean, it's still soft skinned, but it's so big around. And listen to this. Hear that compared to something more like what you want. So this one sounds like it's probably a little bit hollow on the inside. You know how sometimes you cut them open and then the inside is kind of split apart. Again, I think it probably picked up a whole bunch of water at the wrong time in its development. So let's get this stuff back up to the house and get it weighed. And that's going to do it for this Shed Wars video. We ended up weighing in a little over eight pounds of yellow squash and about three and a half pounds of zucchini squash. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If so, we would love it if you'd click on one of these for more daily sustainable living. <laughs>